Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video series, I'm gonna show you how to take two foals that have never been trained before and turn them into reliable, safe, willing partners. So both of these foals are gonna go through 10 days of training and you're gonna watch all the different steps. So whether you've trained horses before or you've never trained them, hopefully this helps you to work with your foal. Okay guys, so here is a wild horse that's been born wild, never been interacted with. He literally has never been touched before, never been worked with before. And it is gonna be easier to rope him than to try to get up to him just because he's very dangerous. He's been kicking out already, we've seen. So the thing is, if I don't rope him, I'm not gonna be able to get up to him quickly. I'm not gonna be able to move to the next steps. But this is the worst case scenario, guys. If you have a foal that's never ever been touched or handled, this is what it's gonna look like. This is pretty much the level that you're gonna be at. Okay, so we got the rope around his neck. And the nice thing is, guys, this pen is small enough that I can actually uh, keep a hold of him and not, not have to restrain him. I can just gently have this around his neck. So I'm just gonna move him around the pen a little bit and just let him kind of get used to wearing this rope. Okay, so right here, I'll start to just gently put pressure on it and then release. So I'll put some pressure on it and then release. Put some pressure on it and as soon as he looks at me, I'll release. Okay, so see how he's rearing up here? This is very normal and I don't want to overwhelm him, but I do need him to slowly get used to that rope being there, okay? So, Pick up on it, then release. Pick up on it, then release. <laughs> okay. So soon he's gonna start to realize that he, he needs to turn towards me. This is good here because the rope's not wrapped around him twice anymore. So just pick up on it here. And as soon as I can, as soon as I can, I'll release it. Pick up on him up on him and almost pick up on him okay pick up on him hold it then release it there we go so this is great because this is the first time that he's turned to face me and stood still so I'll, give, I'll give him a little minute to think about it and relax that's really good. Just come over here, pull on his neck, and release. So right as soon as he looks at me, I'll release the rope. Pick up on his neck here, and release it. So he's just slowly getting used to the fact that I can control him a little bit. Pick up on it, pick up on it, pick up on it, and release. Okay, if he goes away, <laughs> it's amazing how strong they are, even though they're little. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Hold it, hold it, and release. So every time he looks at me, and I'm able to get him to look towards me, I'll release that rope. And you'll also notice that when I'm pulling on it, he's kind of has a little bit restricted breathing. But as soon as he looks towards me, then I release, then the rope releases as well. So I'll come over behind him a little bit, pull on the rope, and release. That was much better. That was very good. Pull on the rope a little bit, and release. Good boy. Everything is very new for him and everything is very scary for him. So trying to keep that in, in mind, not to overwhelm him too much.
At this point, just getting up to him and being able to touch him is going to be a huge achievement. I'm going to advance out my hand and retreat. Advance and retreat. Okay, hold, hold him. There we go. That's good. As soon as he looks at me, then I release the rope. Advance. Good boy. So he touched me for the first time there. Advance out towards him. And retreat. So that's really good. He's starting to realize that I'm not going to eat him. So I'll just slowly build on this on this first point of contact here and just begin to touch him a little bit more on the face, okay? Working with him slowly, trying not to overwhelm him. There he's still comfortable, still comfortable, still comfortable. Now he's getting overwhelmed. So move away before he gets fully overwhelmed. Touching him here. This is really good. This is a great place to start. There he's licking his lips. It's really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick a shoulder. And for the sake of the video, I think I'm going to pick the shoulder closer here. So I'm going to pick this shoulder to go ahead and start to touch him. Okay. So again, if he if he's trying to pull away from me, I'll just keep the pressure until he looks at me like this. That's good. Hold it. Okay, maybe move him around the pen a bit. There we go. Hold it and then release when he when he looks at me. Okay, so as soon as he stands still and looks at me, he gets to relax. That's good. Again, reach my arm out, take it away. Reach my arm out, take it away. Reach my arm out. Good boy. So we're just building on the first touches here. This is good. So what he's telling me is he wants me to stay in front of him, which is fine, but I want him to let me get on his shoulder here. Just like this. Because if I can start to just gently touch him on the shoulder, it's going to help me out a lot. He's a very cute little foal. Okay, so this is a great place to be. He's starting to realize I'm not going to hurt him. He's starting to relax with me touching him on his neck. This is really, really good. You've always got to be ready for them to jump forward, try to kick you, and run away and fart. So as long as you keep that in mind that they could do that, then you'll be all right to, to move closer to him and begin to build their trust. So let's just start working on this side of his body. Start to just touch him on the face here. Okay. Touch him on the neck here. This is good. He's a little bit more. Uh, he's a little bit more protective of this side of his body. He's trying to bite me a little bit. Trying to bite me a little bit. Good boy. So after he does really well like that, I'll leave him alone and let him relax. Now we're just going to start to desensitize him with the halter and swing it towards him. So just gently and slowly, start to let the halter bump him and he'll just get used to it bit by bit here. So this halter's just bumping him, it's gonna swing on his back. He's not really too worried about it, that's great. And I can swing around there. Now I can actually go ahead and grab it here. Good boy, so he's being very compliant. He's trying his best to be brave. Now I can just gently put this like this. Okay. Good boy. So before he gets overwhelmed and runs away, I want to just slow down, relax, and let him take it step by step in. Okay, he's trying to bite me. It's important to take it very slowly because if he was to run away and 
and be very reactive right now. That would be bad for the next few steps. Good boy. Okay, so that's tied there. Not quite. And there we go, the halter's on him. So that's a really good little step for him. Now after all that bravery, I'll let him have a little break, let him relax, because that was a lot of, of him being brave just then. Now I can clip the lead rope on. And now I'm gonna take this one off. And this is key because a lot of times you can't actually take the rope off without the halter on, so. So now he's had his very first haltering ever. So now me stroking him on his face has become a bit of a comfort for him, which is crazy, because a few seconds ago that was scary. So this is how it works. You work with them, you build their trust, and then very soon what used to be scary for them is actually a comforting thing for them. So I'm gonna bring him this way, have him turn and face me. Good. I'm gonna come over this way, and have him turn and face me. He automatically is starting to do it a little bit, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and touch him all over his body with this stick, just starting to get him used to things touching him. He's doing very good, being very brave. Moving to his back legs there, those are usually a little ticklish, as you can see. So notice now how he's facing me. This is because we work with him. We've taught him that he's supposed to face us. So if he, if he wants to fight it, notice how he wants to jump and be crazy. So I don't want him to jump and be crazy. I want him to relax and be calm. So I'm not gonna give him the chance to fight against the rope. I'm not gonna, that's why it's really good to have this smaller pen because I don't have to pull on him. I can actually just I can actually just let the, the halter have more slack. Good boy. So these are all things that we'll work on every day. We'll get him more and more tame. For now, I just want him to have a general idea of what it feels like to be touched on his body. So this is good. Just getting him used to different places. We'll go up on his little ears right now, right there. Good boy. His front leg here. Now we'll go to the other side of his body. Touch him all over his body with this little stick here. So I don't like that he's kicking out, but I'm not gonna try to fix it all in one day. There's a lot of things that we're working on here. Right there, that's good. Come over this way. It means he needs to turn and face me, not turn his butt towards me. That's, that's better. There we go. Good boy. There we go, that's nice. There we go. This is the first few steps of yielding his hindquarters. And it's all important stuff. This is getting better and better here. So it's really cool to see when little horses learn because they, they learn very quickly and they've never been taught anything different. So they remember it and they learn it super, super well. This is good. This is really good. Look at this, he's spinning around and facing me. So this is a great, a great foundation of, of respect when he's turning his face towards me. 
So if I can just spend some time getting him used to me touching him up here, getting him used to me being close to him, this is going to help me a, a lot tomorrow. <coughs> So this little fold did really well today. Um, we were able to progress, get the halter on him, get up to him. And we're just gonna quickly test if we'd be able to catch him if he was free. So we're just gonna let him free there, step away from him and come up to him, approach him again, nice and slowly. And that's just really good progress to be able to see that we're able to get up to him. He's not scared of us. He's licking his lips here. He's relaxing, putting his head down a little bit. So there we go, guys. A good first day for this little guy. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.